It's the best of... Oh, wait, small wonder. Is that the robot girl? I'm a mechanical device. Wow! Okay, she's a robot. She's little, 11. Like, that's just wrong. Why are you having a 10-year-old daughter robot? That aside, I was sold. I actually auditioned for that. And then you think back and you're like, thank you that I didn't get that part. Make me normal, please. It was just so insane that someone decided to put this on television, <laughs> that this Vicky was a robot. Nobody knows that the little girl who talks like a robot is really a robot. I think Small Wonder would short circuit every once in a while. I'm not kidding, like she'd mess up or repeat herself. <laughs> It was some kid playing her, and, and she wasn't uh, Laurence Olivier. I mean, she was like, she was a little kid. She kind of spoke like this. I'm fantastic. It was so ridiculous. She's either a robot or she's crazy. It's really very sad. <laughs> like, those people were high. When they came up with that show. <laughs> but hardly as high as the programmers put it on the air. It is the last word on the English language, and it is packed with terms that will raise eyebrows. Words such as valley girls. Your face. I am so I'm like so sure. Trippendicular. Um like. Like, oh my god, you know? Oh my god. Gag me with a spoon. How about uh, something else besides a spoon, ma'am? I totally went to school with girls who like totally talk like that. My mom would actually beg me to speak Valley Girl just for her entertainment. We had Valley Girl to blame for the use of like or overuse of like. But I think Hollywood is to blame too. Valley Girl, the movie, was big out here. I'm like, oh, I get so fat and all. And what happened to my zitzing? It gets so dirty. It really like ruined the English like language. If you like ask me. Everybody uses like. It's just a great way to instead of, you know, it's better than uh, you know, at least it's a word. You sound dumber and dumber every time you say it. The 70s were like, uh, dude, you know, and now, you know, the 80s were like, um, like. It's like roadies. Awesome. Tubular. The Valley Girls always looked like they'd spent a phenomenal amount of time in a mall looking for stuff that glowed. Valley Girls, they go shopping at the Galleria mostly. Valley Girls were the kind of chick you pick up at the mall, you know what I mean? As a teenage boy. You know, you'd go there and they'd have parachute pants on and high top Reeboks, you know, and we'd just go up to the camera. <laughs> To me, any girl that was that that far into a character, you kind of knew you could probably have sex with her pretty easily. There was no real sense of self. They were they were looking for something, and I had I had a little something for them. You ask the average person to recall the '80s, they're gonna remember Tony Basil. My whole sorority was addicted to the song, Mickey. You get a bunch of crazy drunk girls singing that song. It becomes even more obnoxious than it was as just the recorded version. When I hear the song, Mickey, I can't get it out of my head. It totally gets stuck in my head. Mickey became number one in Britain and then became number one in Australia. And then I got an American deal. Rock choreographer Tony Basil's love of cheerleading was the inspiration behind the video clip of her hit single, Mickey. Basil feels that cheerleaders have come a long way. Well, I think we should probably put a lot of this energy and talent to some real good use. She I produced those videos. I directed those videos. I choreographed those videos. I was in that video, and I edited that video. God bless you, she's a sweet lady. But man, when that song was like playing on regular and heavy rotation, I was almost at a clock tower with pantyhose on my head and a long rifle. I am in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And trust me, this dancer would never be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame if it wasn't for Mickey and the One Hit Wonder. My buddy. Is it called your buddy? No, it's called my buddy. 
So keep your hands off. My buddy from play school is a rough and tumble playmate who sticks by a guy wherever he goes. Everybody sang the song. My buddy. My buddy. Wherever we go, he's gonna go. He's the little boy's best friend. He's my buddy. If I have any black clout card left, this is gonna make me lose it. My buddy was the doll that was okay for boys. Mm -hmm. Big enough to kind of hang out with and not feel like as much of a loser. You don't want to talk to a Barbie doll. You don't want to talk to a buddy. Buddy, this is a toy for children. It's also a therapeutic tool for pedophiles. It appeared to be learning disabled. My buddy. And you could take off all of its clothes, so it was very vulnerable. I don't know what to do when I got white babies in my hand. The thing I like about my buddy is that he's hairless. Smooth between the legs. What? He looks a little bit like Chucky. He doesn't have the crazy face, but he certainly has the hair in the bottom. I never wanted to play with my buddy because it scared me. I'm uncomfortable. Every doll's a little freaky if, look, if viewed through the wrong prism. Every doll is a friend when viewed through the right prism. My buddy is a friend. Now, there wasn't only my buddy. My buddy had a female companion. Kid sister. Kid sister. Kid sister. Kid sister. Kid sister. Kid sister. Kid sister for the chicks, for the ladies. Hey. Hey, kid sister. Hi, my buddy. You ever played the game incest? Then it got a little weird when they came out with Strange Uncle. Strange Uncle. Strange Uncle. For a very long time, girls had dolls. Boys had guns. In the 80s, we started giving dolls to boys. 20 years later, we arrived for the straight guy. Let's put it together. Coming up. E.T. Phone oh, no. E.T. tugs at our heartstrings. E.T. is one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, and one of the few films in which I'm ready to admit I actually shed a tear. I cried. Next on The Best of I Love the 80s.